guys, we're Max and Jacqueline and in today's video we're going to be showing you all the best things to do here in Buenos Aires. If you didn't know, we've actually been traveling Argentina for the last month so we have a ton of videos for you if you are planning a trip here. But today, let's jump in how to spend three days here in Buenos Aires. Good morning, you absolutely beautiful people. We have finally made it to Buenos Aires here in Argentina. And today is our first day exploring the city. Normally, if you follow our other city vlogs, we usually like to do like a food tour or a walking tour or something like that, just to get like a feel of the city and also get some locals recommendations. But Buenos Aires is huge, like massive. So today, instead of doing a walking tour, we're actually gonna do a bike tour. I have no idea how we're gonna ride a bike navigate traffic and film but we're gonna do our best and we're doing it with Buenos Aires biking we're on our way there now we're super excited we'll manage we'll Patricio, nice Patricio, to meet you. Mucho gusto. We got John here. Safety for kids. <laughs> okay. For me? Yeah, for you. Just give it a try. I love it. Yeah. It's perfect. It's a nice bike, eh? It's a great bike. always have bike lanes so it's a very good thing for tourists like us can you guess who this guy is he's the founder of Buenos Aires that's why because he wanted to find a new route to take all the silver and gold from the Alto Peru okay the Alto Peru is now Peru and Bolivia so this guy promised the king of Spain I'm gonna find you a new route so we instead of going all the way down through the Atlantic, to the Magallan Strait, through the Pacific, towards the Alto Peru and go all the way back again. We're gonna go upstream the Parana River. So for you guys that were in Iwasu or are going to Iwasu, that's the, where you know they will traverse all the way down to the Andes. Stadium. 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 Yeah. yeah La Bomanera. Yeah. Tiny. I know tiny. my football people. <laughs> as you know, we're already in La Boca, and La Boca, as you will see, is very colorful, especially because of this team, Boca Junior. So La Boca means the mouth. So what's the natural port, the natural mouth of the River Plate? So we just learned about um, a bit of the football history here in Argentina. If you are a fan of football at all, you would know that there's two very famous teams here which is River Plate and the Boca Juniors but one interesting thing that we didn't know at all is that both teams were actually in this neighborhood they were kind of like I guess both trying to take it of the uh, La Boca neighborhood so they had um, a final game to decide who got to keep the neighborhood so basically the rule was whoever wins gets to keep the neighborhood but they cannot keep the team colors and whoever loses has to move to a different neighborhood but they can keep the team colors so River Plate actually lost they had to move but that's why they kept the red coloring and the Boca Juniors won they stayed they built this strange looking stadium and the story goes <laughs> that basically when they chose their colors they sat at the end of the port and said the first ship that comes into port that flag is going to be our colors and Sweden. And that's why the stadium looks like an IKEA store. <laughs> There's actually going to be a huge game this week on Sunday between the Boca Juniors and River Plate. Now we're off to the neighborhood of La Boca, which is really famous for tourists because it's super colorful and it's also apparently where Tango was created. So there was a term called the warm bed, the warm mattress. Why? Because it was always warm, of course, you know, because they were sharing. So let's say, for instance, you would sleep three hours, then you would sleep 
another three and so on so on. so it was always warm so there was a ratio of people coming in to Argentina a ratio of 10 to 2 10 guys only two women and women were left with not too many choices women started offering their bodies to these guys these hungry guys okay so a, a woman would be dressed in red so it was a call to let them know they were available for business when la the lady in red appeared these guys weren't like say hey i got here first yeah i'm second no no it didn't work like that okay this is how tango was sort of born because it was a dance between guys at the beginning to show off who was the better you know macho man to go first with the lady in red our bike tour has brought us here to the la boca neighborhood which if you've been playing in trip to buenos aires you may have heard of it's a very famous neighborhood because it is so bright and colorful and also because it is where tango was created You can definitely tell that the neighborhood has embraced the tourism, like it feels really touristy. But it's also just like kind of cool as well, like all the colorful buildings and all the like street vendors. Definitely the weirdest thing about this neighborhood is there's these really creepy mannequins up on the balconies. I don't know what the deal is with those, but they're like on like quite a few different balconies along here. And they're really like grotesque and freaky looking. <laughs> they're so strange. Consider the widest river in the world, of course. What do you have? I got, Lomo? I got the Lomito. Lomito? Okay, Lomito. So this is really cool. We've come to this, I think it's called a parilla. We've got these uh, traditional Argentinian sandwiches. They're called Lomito, which means this is like a steak sandwich. that has egg, ham, cheese, and they have this huge salad bar. So you can choose what dressing you want to put on it. And they have this big pot here of chimichurri, which is you know, you gotta have chimichurri on your steak sandwich in Argentina. So I put a lot of that on. Voila. I don't know how you're gonna eat that. <laughs> I haven't picked it up, it's already falling out. <laughs> oh, the bread is not attached at the bottom. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll have to go like that. <laughs> This is the bomb. Mm. This is lit. We've made our way to a bit more of a modern area of Buenos Aires, and it's just once again a showcase of how big this city is because it is a complete different vibe, different look of everything. So. A bike ride is highly recommended if you're trying to see as much as you can on a limited amount of time. So nice. I'm so glad we did this tour because we've seen so much of Buenos Aires and it's not even over yet. We never would have known to come to this bridge. But it's actually just a really beautiful area. It's easy. Oh, that was a bit of a workout. But it is one thing to say that the tour is so perfect for Buenos Aires because it is so bike friendly. So you're not, you're not really biking on the road that much. You're mostly in bike lanes. Yeah. Really good. Okay, so we've just made a quick stop and actually we're gonna be trying mate. Mas? Just Oh my god. There's no water in here, it'll just be. No, no, you'll see. No, come on. <laughs> Look how much is in there. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay. Perfect. He's just gonna go. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
pipe, which is always a server. So you drink, it comes back to her, she serves, you don't, see it. You don't touch it, okay? You don't mess with it, it's not a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you have to put the straw in a very specific way, apparently. This is like an art form. All the way down to the bottom, and then... But if I move... Perfecto, yeah, perfecto, that's... It's good enough. Good. Okay, we're adding more water now. I don't know... Oh. Let, it, let it sit. Oh, let it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that is yeah, how you, you make mate, you so now we get to try it. It smells like hay. Like, it does smell like exactly what you would give to a horse. <laughs> okay. Hot? Slowly, slowly. So bitter. <laughs> it's super bitter. So yeah, bitter. <laughs> but I just have to make the water in it again. Like, yeah. Like, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like dried grass. <laughs> it's a very, like you said, very unique taste. <laughs> just made our stop here at the Recoleta Cemetery, obviously in the Recoleta neighborhood. And one of the reasons this cemetery is such a big tourist attraction and why it's so popular is because it is one of the most expensive pieces of real estate here in Buenos Aires. And by that, I mean that like to have a tomb here is so expensive. So there's obviously a lot of very prominent figures buried here and that is another reason why it's such a big attraction but also oh my gosh it's beautiful actually generally it's a kind of a weird thing but i love visiting cemeteries because they're usually really beautiful parks as well and all of the headstones usually so intricate and nice especially when you're in like old european cities so this is by far one of the most magnificent i've ever seen This one has glass door, you can see inside. That was an amazing way to spend our first day exploring Buenos Aires. I feel like we got to see almost everything in one day. We will leave a link in the description if you want to book this tour as well with Buenos Aires Biking. Honestly, highly recommend it. Patrick was amazing. The whole day was great. <laughs> Good morning, it is day two here in Buenos Aires. We are in our apartment still because it's breakfast time. Every day since we've been here, we've been going across to, there's a bakery right next door to us that's really cute and they sell the classic Media Luna. And also they sell baguettes, so we get a baguette, we get a Media Luna and today we got whatever this is. Seems like a Media Luna but with like custard or something in it too. I've got a few things that I want to go check out that have just come up in my research and we're just going to kind of explore the city a little bit more low-key, less organized and kind of just see what happens. But we do have some particular sites that we really want to go check out today as well. So stick around and we'll show you the best sites to see. So if you want to get around on buses in Buenos Aires, you have to buy one of these cars. It's called a Sube car. It's 2,000 pesos to buy one and then you load it with um, pesos. How much was that trip? 300 each? Yeah. yeah. 300 pesos. Yeah. We're going in about 20 minutes and it was 300 pesos each. Then we'll be at our first destination. Okay, we've made it now. We're on Avenida Santa Fe, which very much looks like the main shopping street, I would assume. But we're not here for shopping. There's a very specific building we're going to go check out. Making our way towards the El Ateneo Gran Splendid. And the reason we're going there is because this is actually an old theater that they converted into a bookstore. And it's been listed online as one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. <gasps> so cool. <gasps>
we've made it to our next stop in our city guide of Buenos Aires. <laughs> wow. We have just been taking a very short walk from the Avenida Santa Fe down to the Teatro Colon. This theater is so recommended when you look up what to do in Buenos Aires and it's because it is such a beautiful building. We're gonna go get a bit closer now and check it out now, but it really is like... Grand. It's impressive. Yeah. The architecture in Buenos Aires is really impressive. It just amazes me, like coming from Australia, which is a very young country, and also where I grew up in the in like a small town that you could live here and like walk past beautiful buildings like this every day like it's just so nice isn't that cool so pizza is like a real very very popular food here in Argentina because they have a lot of Italian immigrants so the Italians brought their pizza and the Argentinians made it what it is today. It's meant to be really really good but very different from Italian pizza. This one is a lot of like a lot of cheese ham, and a lot of onion as well. Some serious cheese there. Yeah <laughs> so much cheese. Holy moly. Yeah. So good. I'm gonna have some uh, as burner <laughs> sauce. only food stop today so obviously with such a big Italian influence we can't have the pizza without the gelato I've never had an ice cream that they've like put into this like wizard hat it's, okay this actually is some of the best ice cream I think I've ever had oh my god it is so creamy that ice cream wow was so dang good wow it's gonna roll down the hill yeah Okay, so we've made our way to what I guess is like the heart of the city. So right behind me is a massive obelisco, obelisco, it's an obelisk, <laughs> I don't know how to say it in Spanish. And it marks, it's basically right on, this is Avenue 9 de Julio, which is the widest avenue in the world. This is the Plaza de la Republica. And it was erected in 1936 to commemorate the quadrucental of the first foundation of the city. So to commemorate 400 years of Buenos Aires. And as an interesting fun fact, it also was used as the biggest condom in the world for AIDS Day. Because it looks a little bit like, you know why? But yeah, that's what it was used for. He would like to taste a different and between the doce leche argentino and the doce leche uh, brasileño. Sure. But uh -huh. you have to be very honest oh. yeah. <laughs> with your... Primo, toma aqui com as gringas da Austrália. Max, Max and Jackie. Jackie, okay? The first in the doce leche Brazilian. Brazil? On... Okay. Mm. How do you think mm. this? What do you think? Okay, very nice. Very nice. Really good. Light. Now... That's going to okay. be hard to beat. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Argentina. Go now. Nice. This what one. do you prefer, Max? Oh. Brazilian doce de leche? Brazilian. Oh, wow. Really, really different, but the Brazilian one just has a real creaminess to it. Ah, yum, that was yeah. really good. Thank okay. you. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Look, the fanciest we can possibly look because we have made our way to the 
Palermo neighborhood again. We're doing something really fun tonight, but also maybe something that's gonna be really embarrassing for us. So don't laugh at us, leave nice comments. We're going to do a tango lesson. Hi, Hola. how are you? Fine. Hola. Okay, nice to meet you. Really weirdly, we've come to the Armenian Cultural Association Center to dance tango, <laughs> which is so weird. But let's go see what it's all about. This is pretty cool. So we've just come down into this hall, and there is like really loud music playing. So I hope you can hear me. But um, there's a few people dancing. But this is one of those tours where we just have no idea what's going on. So yeah, we're just kind of waiting now and watching these people dance. It's good vibe. I like it. Yeah, it's so nice vibe. Okay, you can whenever you want. You can just join, and then they will divide you in in levels. We've just been doing our lesson, which is actually really fun. We had to switch partners and I actually got to dance with the instructor. And not to say the Max isn't amazing, he truly actually was pretty good because I danced with another person as well. But when you dance with someone who really knows what they're doing, it's really... you can tell the difference. Yeah. Look at us guys. It's still very much going on, but we have dinner to attend, so it was an amazing experience. Gracias. Our guide Natalia actually asked us what Argentinian food we've tried so far, so she could try and figure out what we should go and try. So I'm not sure what she's decided for us, but now we're on our way to dinner, which is perfect because all that dancing worked up an appetite. We've just arrived. This is meant to be a traditional paria. I think she called Natalia Golden. They're playing soccer right there. Hola, buenas. We've ordered the beef de chorizo, which is what Natalia recommended. It's a huge, massive saying. Like, honestly, we could have shared one. It's massive. It's come with a side of fries, so let's dig in. So Natalia said it would be too well cooked for us, which for Max is not a problem, but for me, like I like a medium rare kind of steak. But anyway, let's see. Oh my god, it's really good. That's a nice steak. Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying today to Max, we need to eat another steak as well. Time to go get some ice cream. Antiche. We have made our way to Antiche, this gelateria or gelateria in Spanish. And apparently, it is the best ice cream in all of this neighborhood, which is Palermo. Our guide did say there's a lot of best ice creams all over Buenos Aires, but this is the best one in this neighborhood. 
very excited. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I got the sweetest combination I could possibly find. Gracias, señora. <laughs> Look how massive this is. Oh my gosh. This is so <laughs> ginormous. I don't know why, but they gave me such a big portion. Show yours. That's <laughs> mine. Tastes to be friendly, um, but this is so delicious, amazing ice cream. It's so sweet and rich. I'm so happy. <laughs> what a great night. Tango, steak, and ice cream. Great way to end the day in Buenos Aires. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to day three here in Buenos Aires. Today is actually a Sunday which is something we've come to realize in Argentina, Sundays are the day of rest, and that is taken very seriously. But here in Buenos Aires, every Sunday, they have the very famous and very old San Telmo market. It's the oldest market in the whole city, and it starts here in Plaza de Mayo and runs all the way down Avenue Defensa. So today is just wandering around the markets, and also later today, there is a very big deal football match going on. It's River Plate versus the Boca Juniors. So we're gonna go check out that later. But first, let's go check out the market. There's a lot of really cool stuff and it actually all looks like artisanally made rather than sometimes when you go to markets nowadays you can kind of just tell everything's ordered from like China and it's just they're just selling stuff that you can buy kind of in stores anyway. Here it's actually like homemade stuff like people are actually making this and selling their crafts which is really cool. and the market goes really far so this market is honestly massive and because pretty much everything shuts down on a Sunday in Buenos Aires I feel like everyone is here <laughs> so busy and as the day gets like later it's getting busier and busier quieter than at the market which is much more peaceful for us anyway they have an amazing deal their menu of the day is only 4,900 pesos I got a veggie burger with a bunch of chips at Mexico the Milanese and we got these delicious lemonades with it as well this is an amazing deal all right I rarely do this but I found a place that Jacqueline will like to eat I'm excited. Max never looks up things for us to do. So the place that we've come to is called Go To Cafe. It's really sweet of Max to bring me here because he's thinking like Jackie loves sweets, she loves coffee. This is her like ideal thing and it totally is. I'm actually really excited for it. But we've been watching a lot of food reels lately and some of the desserts have been insane. So I, my expectations were up here and like what we're going to is down here but uh, it's still really sweet it was like it took us almost an hour on the bus to get here so it's pretty far out of the way 
but I'm still really excited because it is very much a time for a coffee right now and who doesn't want a coffee and a cookie? It's delicious. So it was 3800 for two coffees which is crazy because that's actually cheaper than some of the places we've been buying coffee just like a regular coffee but in saying that the actual cookie cut it looks pretty small so you're not getting like a lot of coffee in there I guess we'll see Gracias. all right we got our cookies it actually was pretty it was 30 minutes it wasn't that quick let's see if the coffee is any good it's actually pretty good coffee. Mm. Cookie is lined with chocolate, so you get like mm. a bit of like melted chocolate when you sip, which is really nice. The cookie kind of tastes like a shortbread. For some reason, I was expecting more of like a like a chocolate chip cookie, but it's more like a shortbread. It's not bad, but I don't think it's worth the hype. Yeah. All right, we yeah. made it back further south to Palermo. But this time we came here for a very popular occasion. Just a reminder, it is River Plate versus the Boca Juniors. And this game is happening at the River Plate Stadium. This bar has one massive TV, but it's so packed over there that there was only seats over this side. And we have these tiny little TVs to watch it on. But there's a few different people wearing the colored jerseys, so... Hopefully it doesn't go too crazy. It would have been amazing to go see a game here, but you have to be a member of the stadium to do so. This will probably be the last of our talking because it's pretty loud in here. so much but we'll see you in the most famous falls waterfalls of Argentina well and Brazil Argentina <laughs> and Brazil